Hey what is going on everybody and welcome back to another studio product review and today we're going to have a look at a video slider from China. So actually from banggood.com and you can find the link down below in the description so make sure you check it out. So this thing is called the Comlight Portable 60cm Video Slider. It's a very basic entry level video slider and today we're going to check it out. So don't forget to check out the link and let's have a closer look at the product. Alright so here's the Comlight Video Slider. Came from China, took around 2 weeks to arrive. It came in a pretty basic package and it was actually taken apart into four pieces. We have the rail, we have the sliding pad and we have the two feet or the stands. Then it also comes with a portable nylon case and well not the best quality but it does the job. An L-shaped hexagon wrench, screw adapters and the screw set basically to put everything together. Now here's a closer look at the slider and let's get started here with the stands. They call it the Eagle Claw foot design. So this helps to get the slider more anti-skid and stable. Then it's mounted here on the aluminum rail here with that long screw and you can completely take it apart without the need of tools. So you can do it with your bare hands. Now the stands, they are made out of aluminum just like the rail too and they are very massive as you can see. We have your screws on the left and on the right side to adjust the height, that's very good. So you can do it separately on every side. And then you can fix it here with um, the nut and also it has um, rubber pads or rubber stands here at the bottom. So you get a really good stand and the rail is always fixed so it's not wobby or loose and you can also adjust the height and this is something I really like about the slider. But you don't have to use um, those feet here, you could also use a tripod, you could use a ball mount and there are also different threads in the middle of the of the rail and you can also just move for instance that feet here a little bit more to the middle so you see there's another thread and you could just mount it right over there so it's actually very easy to use you can just take it apart within a couple of seconds and set it up also just like in 10 seconds now let's have a closer look here at this aluminum rail and this is basically the main part of the slider and the sliding pad is sliding on this rail here it's very heavy even though it's made out of aluminum but looks like very nice quality so made with CNC techniques and here in the middle we have two different types of threads so we have here the quarter inch thread it's like a normal tripod to mount and for instance you could use your camera tripod to mount the rail on that or you could also use a ball mount some lighting tripod or whatever and yeah here in the middle we have a bigger mount a bigger thread and this is a 3 8 thread and there's also an adapter for that. So actually really cool and we also have threads here on the outside so here another quarter inch thread and here on the outside the one you have seen before and you can mount everywhere here um, the um, feet as you have seen or you could use tripods and it's a very short rail because this is just a 60 centimeter slider so longer sliders are also usually more expensive and even the small one here is like $80 on Banggood. Okay so here the bottom side you can see the riffle design and all in all I have to say um, the threads they look good um, and also no sharp edges so the whole rail looks like pretty nice quality. Now guys here's the sliding pad which slides on the rail and yeah um, somehow the logo here is wrong so actually it should say come light but it says here come lit not really sure if that is actually wrong or not. Then um, you can see here we have um, different threads so we have here for instance a quarter inch thread also here on the right side and um, they're like golden inlays and here you can see that we have here one um, big screw but this is actually just an adapter so this is a 3 8 to quarter inch or quarter inch to 3 8 adapter and this is basically if you have a camera with a um, yeah big amount here's um, just one hole and here we have a spirit level so this is actually really good to um, know um, if all your shots are in plane with the table and if it's really even so really cool then let's check out the back side here and here you can see we have here the hexagon socket to unscrew the quarter inch screw for um, the camera mount and yeah um, the top plate here it's made out of metal I guess but um, here the outer chassis it's like yeah some very smooth rubber or hard plastic rubber so feels um, actually kind of strange then here we have a screw to um, fix the sliding pad so if, if you want that it does not slide on on the rail and we have here no bearing inside so it's actually a very basic slider we just have those I would call them sliding inlays or just smooth inlays and they just slide on the rail the problem is that yeah 
stay and wear out and it's also not a smooth movement like um, if you would have a bearing inside with a lot of, of different um, yeah, rolls. So this would actually be better but you have to know that the slider is very cheap and sliders with bearing inside are usually quite more expensive. So um, if those sliding inlays there wear out, you can actually change them so you can get them out, but I'm not really sure why you can buy them, so this could be a problem. So I can't tell you anything about the lifetime, I'm just using it now for two weeks and I have to say it does the job, but it's not that smooth like some high quality sliders. Now here's the slide in action. So my Canon EOS70D, my backup camera is mounted here on the sliding pad. This is actually really easy to do with the standard camera mount. And yeah, um, it's a very heavy camera here with the battery grip and the lens. And you notice that the slider is not really so smooth and also it's a little bit wobbly. So well, um, if I just move the camera here like this, you can see that the sliding pad is actually also moving. So it's a little bit shaky. If you use the slider in this direction, um, you don't really Really notice it because you're not moving the camera but um, if you do it here in this direction then you really have to find the correct technique in order to operate it correctly so um, I usually do it here at the bottom here with the screw because this is for me the smoothest way but it really requires I think a lot of practice so it's not an electrical slider also there is no fluid inside just like on my tripod and yeah the movement is not 100% smooth and it really requires a, yeah, a pretty good technique in order to get some nice shots. But um, the rail itself, it's very massive, so it's actually designed to hold a camera up to 8 kilograms. And my Canon is also very heavy, but um, you see it holds the camera, but it's a little bit wobbly and this is not so nice. So ladies and gentlemen, we're now here at the end of this review. I actually really enjoyed testing the slider here but I'm not really sure if it's the perfect slider for me, so it's a very basic entry-level slider. Now the rail, um, the stands, they're very good. Um, as you can see, um, you can also adjust the height on each side, so that's very good if you wanted the camera power points down or up. And yeah, um, the rail itself, very massive, but the sliding pad sometimes, yeah, um, sometimes it gets stuck here a little bit, so I think the sliding inlay, so um, they also wear out quite fast, and I'm not really sure if, um, if it's not better to invest a little bit more money into a slider with bearing inside or some fluid slide or whatever. I know they're quite expensive, but Probably um, if you use it for a long time then this is um, the better thing. But if you just need it for a couple of shots and yeah it's okay but you just need to find the correct technique in order to move the camera really um, steady and also with um, the correct speed because yeah you, you see it's a manual slider and also some here it gets stuck a little bit so I think there's probably something on the rail which is um, not um, exactly um, plain but I have to say um, the slider for the money is okay you can find loads of them also on Amazon but the one from Banggood is also very cheap with around $70, $76 um, also including shipping the only thing I absolutely don't like is that um, for heavy cameras you see this, the sliding pad here is really a little bit wobbly, so this could be better in my opinion. And also, um, you can't really adjust here um, the, the speed. So um, if you want that the slider slides down, you can do it with the screw here. But the resistance, you can't really adjust it because you can only press the one um, inlay against the rail and that's everything. So this is actually just a screw to fix it and not to adjust anything. So it does the job. Um, um, it's okay, but um, it's far away from a professional video slider. And in the next reviews, I will try to get a better one, probably also an electrical one, so stay tuned. All in all, thanks to Banggood for sending this one out. So if you're looking for a cheap and very basic slider, you can check this one out, but I would actually recommend to spend like 50 euro more for a more expensive and actually better quality one. So thanks for watching this review, have a nice day, and see you soon in the next one.